Please don't change. Don't you ever fly back. This way, sir. Shut up. This Thank way, you. sir. He's disturbing my peace. Charging. Let me double lock these for you so they don't tighten. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. On July 29, 2016, Michael Wood was enjoying the Clark County Fair in Ohio, wearing a shirt that said, F the police. During his time at the fair, he received multiple comments, including a woman who ironically made a profane gesture towards him. A deputy noticed the shirt and referred to Mr. Wood by name, yelling, Hey Wood, I like your shirt. Wood gave the deputy a thumbs up and replied, I thought you would. A few hours later, the sheriff's department received a phone call complaining about the shirt. Three deputies confronted Wood and asked him to identify. Wood refused, and one of the deputies allegedly replied, We know who you are. Several hours later, they were called again. This time, six officers approached Wood with the executive director of the Clark County Fairgrounds in tow, who allegedly said, where's this shirt? I want to see this shirt. However, Wood was no longer wearing it. At this point, the deputies started their body cams. Have I committed a crime? Have I been detained? Shirt. Am I being detained? Yeah. I don't answer questions. You're, you're in my home. This is my property. I don't answer questions. This is my property. I want you to leave. You're not welcome at my home. Okay, well, I'll I want you off that grant. And give my money back. Why? What you pay? Three dollars. Give my money back. You know what? What? It will be my honor and my pleasure. There's a five. Keep the change. Don't you ever come I, back I to my house. For you, sir. I don't want your change. You, you don't, don't want change? Get off my grounds and get out of my house. I have two dollars for change for you, nope. sir. Don't want it. Are you sure? I wouldn't take your money. I don't want you around. Get off my house. You do realize that what I'm doing is a constitutionally protected activity, right? Not my home. Not in your home. This isn't your home. This is public property. It's where I live. No, this ain't. This ain't your house. This is public property. What do I have to say to him? Get off my ground. Very well. I'll be talking to my attorney about it. Please this. do. I will. That is a constitutionally protected activity. This is public property. Uh, yeah, quit. Uh, you ain't pushing me nowhere. I'll be. You guys take an oath to uphold the Constitution? Did you take an oath to uphold the United States Constitution or not? No? 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 Did you? Did you take an oath to uphold the United States Constitution? Someone answer me. This You're not welcome in my house. Don't touch me. Do not, 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 not put your hands on me. This way. That is bad. Okay. Do not put your hands on me. This way, Mr. Smiley. Order. An order. Is it a lawful order? It's a property. So you're leaving. I've not public. Is this public property? I've asked you to leave. Is this fairgrounds funded by the public? I've asked you to leave my ground. Is this fairgrounds funded by the public? I'm not talking to you. I've asked you to leave. You're not talking to me. Did you not just say for me to leave? I'm Are you talking to me then? I'm telling you to get off oh, my Oh, so you're ground. wanting to play games. This ain't your house, boy. This belongs to the citizens of this county. You got your body back, leave. Is that what it is? Deputy Johnson, get your money back, please. You're five dollars. You bank, Mr. Blair. Five dollars and to me, bro. Walk with him to the front gate. Who the f you are? Look at these badges behind me. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, walking, six, sir. six pigs. Dogs with guns that don't uphold the United States Constitution. Oh, you, you dirty rat bastard. Go. And you, you're. A Thief, I've heard about you. Let's go. This way, sir. Shut up. This way, you, sir. I'll sir. Stay outside the back gate. Fucking thugs with badges. Thugs with badges. United States Constitution doesn't apply to Clark County Fairgrounds, people. Dogs with badges. I'm going out the back gate. Now, what's wrong with this one? Why? Because the gate's over this way. Does it matter what gate I came in? Yes, sir. We like I came in the back gate. We're not going to walk all the way to the back then gate. Then that's your back problem, motherfucker. I'm leaving. Dogs with badges. Yeah, disorderly. He's disturbing my peace. 
charging. The fairgrounds director claims that Wood is disturbing his peace, all while he himself follows him and using the same profanity. The officers seem unsure of what to do and discuss whether or not they should arrest him for disorderly conduct and disturbing the peace. Sarge, what are we doing? He's talking the whole way out the door. He's still talking. Disorderly, sir. Drop your bag. You do not have permission Drop to search bag. me or my property. Under arrest for disorderly conduct. You do not have permission to search me or my property. We'll call the jail police. Make sure they accept. Make sure they accept. I heard that. I'm gonna make sure my attorney hears about this too. Yeah. Let me double lock these for you so they don't tighten. Wood was placed under arrest for disorderly conduct and obstructing official business. On the way to jail, Deputy Troutman asks Wood, quote, How does that work? You've got a shirt that says fuck the police, but you want us to uphold the Constitution? It appears that Deputy Troutman missed the entire point of the Constitution. The answer is yes. Yes, 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 ad infinitum, yes. The prosecutor later dismissed the charges, and Wood went on to file a 42 U.S.C. 1983 lawsuit against all six officers involved for numerous constitutional violations. The defendants moved for summary judgment, and the motion was granted by the magistrate judge as to all but two of the claims, unlawful arrest and First Amendment retaliation. However, the district court disagreed, concluding that the officers were protected by qualified immunity and granted summary judgment to the defendants on all claims. Wood appealed, and the case was brought before the Sixth Circuit. The Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that the First Amendment protects Mr. Wood's speech. Thus, there was no probable cause to arrest him for his conduct, because you cannot arrest someone for using profanity or derogatory statements alone. In Houston v. Hill, the Supreme Court held that the freedom of individuals verbally to oppose or challenge police action without thereby risking arrest is one of the principal characteristics by which we distinguish a free nation from a police state. And because at this point, all cops should know that this is not criminal behavior and that freedom of speech is a clearly established constitutional right, the officers are not entitled to qualified immunity in regard to the false arrest. As to Mr. Wood's First Amendment retaliation claim for his shirt, the court noted that three elements must be demonstrated to prevail. Number one, that he engaged in constitutionally protected speech. Number two, that he suffered an adverse action, likely to chill a person of ordinary firmness from continuing to engage in protected speech, and that the protected speech was a substantial or motivating factor in the decision to take adverse action. As to the first element, the defendants didn't contest that the shirt was constitutionally protected speech, nor could they. As to the second element, the officers removed Wood from a public event under armed escort because of his shirt. And finally, the court held that the shirt was the motivating factor because of the question Troutman asked while en route to jail. Summary judgment was reversed, qualified immunity revoked, and the case against the officers can continue. Despite the ruling, the sheriff's office still contends that it did nothing wrong. Maybe someday, 
they'll realize that words that hurt their feelings for being critical of their agency is not only protected free speech, but it's one of the most basic and most important rights we were born with. Never mind big tech, cops are the ultimate snowflakes engaged in cancel culture. Stay tuned, for as the jury trial continues, I will keep you updated. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Membership start at just just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.